It's hump day, and the markets end the day bullish. My name's Des here at Rock Trade. It's Wednesday, April 15th, 2015. Take a look here, the S&P up almost half a percent, Dow up 0.4%, NASDAQ up 0.6%, the small caps up 0.7%, and a huge rally here on the banks, up more than 1%, given a lot of bullish sentiment into today's movement. What's interesting here is gold also up 0.9% and you have silver up 0.8%. So across the board, everything is green. Now let's take a closer look here at the spider, which is ETF on the S&P 500. And here's the problem. Today we had this gap up, big rally. Everything looked great, great, great. We got up to, to an 11 area and then sellers came in drove it right back down. We've seen that before. We've seen it here and we dropped. We've seen it here and here and then we've had a big drop. We're seeing it again where the bodies stay below our area of resistance with the big upper shadow and then following red candlesticks. So there's a good chance that we're going to drop going into tomorrow. Now we did have an uptick in volume but most of this candlestick is upper shadow, which is meaning that most of this volume is going to be bearish, not boding well for the markets at this moment. Same thing here with the Dow or the diamonds resistance coming across. We try to break above it, but we close below it. Here is what's very interesting is NASDAQ says we have resistance, 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 and we broke resistance. So it's saying we're breaking out to the upside. Small caps, if you look at that, you'll see that we went up, 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 touched resistance, and then pulled back. So this is telling me that we're set to start dropping at this moment. It tested that resistance area. It failed it. Be looking to drop. The only thing that's bullish right now are the tech stocks. And the techs by themselves are not strong enough to keep the, all the major indices in bullish territory. So take a look here at gold. Gold has a little pullback and bouncing off the rising 20-day moving average. Looks like it could be a buy opportunity. Silver, well below the 20-day moving average. Little double bottom, drop, pop, drop, pop. And it could be a buy opportunity, but I'm just telling you, Volume very, very weak on that. So um, we were talking about the trades that I'm in right now. And then let's look at those positions. BABA, for example. I said BABA was a trade. And actually, if I hit the little light bulb up there, you'll see my trade here. Reloaded that trade off a of hammer. Today, we did go higher. But the problem is we dropped. We're still staying above the 20-day moving average. But the problem is we should have bounced and kept going higher, especially with the markets going bullish today. So because of that, what I did, I took a majority of my position and put a trailing stop loss on it because if the markets do go bearish, which we absolutely could here, I want to unload that. I want to keep my profits, do not want to give away too much of that. So, But I'm still in for the ride. My FET just up, up, and away, making me a lot of money. Big volume, but we hit resistance. Because we hit resistance, I'm expecting us to start to drop downward. And if, if we do that, I do have trailing stops in place to preserve and to maximize profit taking. But I mean, I mean this dude was up more than 5% today. Pretty good. By GoPro, is up almost 3%. It was up more than 6%, I believe, at one point today. This one, you know, I called a buy and then boom to the upside. However, the problem is sellers came in. It got up over resistance and they sold right into it. Now we're at resistance. I mean, this thing is set up to start dropping. So it's bad. Um, looks like this uh, TR dollar came in saying, hey, you know, there's a trade here on the breakout. Um, I'm going to say that might not be the case. We could start drifting downward, so I have my trailing stops there. My YY down 3%. Now, this one I called a call on a buy on a trade over $62. 
So over 62, we never did get over that. So there's really no trade there. And now this thing's dropping. So the question is, will this continue south? Or will we move sideways going into tomorrow? And then it will uh, eventually head higher. Anybody's gets here, but I never want to see a reversal pattern and then a big red chunky candlestick right after that. Usually does not bode well. So this one I'm not holding my breath on. The position that I do have on it, I do have my trailing stops on it. it did not add to my position because it didn't get over that $62 that I was hoping for. So it be interesting to see how that one plays out. The markets do go bullish or bearish rather, bearish. I do plan on picking up some of these. Now what's interesting here today on SRTY, which is the triple, triple, okay, inverse or bear stock on the Russell's 2000. Um, just huge, huge volume on today's drop. If I go to a one hour chart here, take a look at this, you'll see that huge volume coming in on capitulation here. It's almost like the market's ready to go um, down. So that means this is ready to go higher. A lot of people are picking up positions in uh, this ultra short. So I'll be doing that to hedge my positions if the markets do start to go southbound. So we get the very best technical analysis right here at Grok Trade. We have a mentorship coming up this weekend. If you want us to take you by the hand and to mentor you for your for the rest of your life in trading, uh, that's what we do. We do very well. Look up reviews online. Just to put in Grok Trade mentoring reviews and do some social search to find out everything about us and what our students say about us and I think you'll like it. We um, pride ourselves with the reviews of our students because of what we do for them. So quit being an amateur trader, quit losing money out there in the markets, get yourself some professional help, let us be that person for you. All you need to do is contact us, go to Grok Trade, and once you get there at Grok Trade, you can fill out a form and we'll, we will be in touch with you. Very, very simple process. So just click, go to groctrade.com, click on 301 Mentoring, and we'll give you all the information you need about this weekend. There you have it. Take care and very safe trading to you.